A few days ago, a special person in my life died. He was my running partner for three or four years when I first moved to Annapolis before I had kids, and my physical trainer, not hired, but he sort of became my physical trainer. Ben Moore was 83 years old, which sort of gives you an indication of how fast I run, and he was a colonel, a retired colonel in the Marine Corps. He taught me a lot of lessons that I apply to my mental health training as well. The first day I met Ben, I was running around the Naval Academy, having just moved to Annapolis. And I was in my 20s, and he was in his 70s, and I see him pass me pretty quickly. And knowing me, I said some smart-ass comment like, Hey there, old guy, you can't pass this girl. And he looked back and he said, Well, then join me. Ben was totally inspiring to me because he hadn't run a mile until he was 50. And at that point, he began training for marathons. By the time he was 82, he had run 63 marathons. He had even participated in some of those 50 milers. And he got his wife to join him. Ben always told me that if you want to run a marathon, all you have to do is show up. Show up, he said. Show up to practice. That's all you have to do. But he took this philosophy even further. At my last book signing for The Imperfect Mom, nobody but him showed up. <laughs> and I remember walking up the stairs, and the manager at Barnes & Noble said, well, we don't have a big crowd, but your running coach is here. Ben taught me how to stretch myself. Before I met him, four miles was the longest I had ever run and the longest I ever dreamed that I could run. But in about six weeks after I met him, I competed in the 10-miler Annapolis race. I won this jacket. And to me, that was better than running any Ironman or uh, winning the Olympics. It was a goal that I didn't think would ever happen and he made me believe that if you stretch yourself, you can do amazing things. The way Ben got me to stretch myself is brilliant as well. He trained me like a rat. Every two miles, he hid Jolly Ranchers and Gatorade behind trees and in little um, corners of the route. So I would look forward to candy every couple of miles. Now, after a few weeks of running with Ben, Eric wondered why I was gaining weight if I was running so much. So I just wanted to say, Ben, that I miss you. And that every time I run, 